Hey friends, it's day two of Dr. Morris's Monkey Diet Challenge. I'm feeling great so far. I started this morning with my homemade stomach tea and my herbal tinctures, and then I went outside for a nice bowl of grapes with the dragon because it's so beautiful out here, and I really wanted to take advantage of the beautiful weather today. Um, after that, I hit up the gym because I'm feeling really strong today, and I want to take advantage of this um, superior hydration that I'm giving my body and all of these amazing astringent herbs that are really pulling on lymph. This was the ideal opportunity to capitalize on that and hit up the gym. Um, so I did about 20 minutes on the treadmill, did a couple leg exercises, and then I hit up the hydro massage chair. Oh my gosh, friends, these things are amazing. Um, for anyone not familiar, the hydro massage chair is just a massage chair you lie on and you can um, adjust the speed, the pressure of the water, and the water just runs up and down your body and it literally moves the lymph right underneath your skin. So it's the perfect combination, right? You hydrate well with your raw fruits and vegetables, you hit up the gym, you stir up a lot of lymph, and then you lie on this chair and it moves from head to toe, literally moving waves of lymph toward your kidneys from head and from your feet so i love it so much that was um a really great way to just kind of pamper myself and encourage my body to continue proper elimination i am seeing kidney filtration so i was um, more than happy to stir up a little bit more lymph in the gym uh, one observation from day two of this great fast is that my back and everything, my joints and stuff are getting more lubricated and I am cracking so much easier. I already crack um, a fair amount. Um, and ideally, we want to have connective tissue strong enough to help our bodies support a proper alignment. Um, but sometimes, whenever we become dehydrated, we can be pulled out of alignment. But once we start hydrating on this cellular level, and we really start to hydrate every nook and cranny, including our joints, then suddenly that hardened lymph is moistened and it's able to move out of these areas and carry that cell waste away, therefore removing the stiffness, removing the pain, and allowing you to just go with the flow. So in yesterday's video, I said that I would talk more about the herbal protocol that I'm on right now. I want to make clear that for anyone joining this raw food challenge or thinking of joining, by no means is this necessary for you. This is something extra that I'm adding on for myself um, so I can, in essence, um, really take advantage of this two weeks and get a deeper detox going. So let's go over my herbal protocol that I'm doing and as you may be able to see, most of these tinctures are homemade. I started these tinctures and making tinctures probably about five or six years ago, and some of these are still from that initial batch. And uh, the beautiful thing of making an alcohol-based tincture is how long it can last in proper storage environments. Um, and so I'm really grateful for the ability and the very simple know-how of how to build my own herbal apothecary at home. And with a little bit of know-how, you can too. So up front here, we have our four major friends here. This is in essence Dr. Morse's Fab Four. So here we have an endocrine balance, the lymphatic one, this is a mild lymphatic formula, because my body is still fairly dehydrated from previous food choices and whatnot, I don't want to stir up too much lymph before my lymph is really hydrated and my kidneys are filtering a little bit more. So to start with, we always wanna to go to a mild lymphatic formula, something that will pull on the mucous membranes and pull on the lymph, but not pull too much. Next up, we have a kidneys and bladder formula. This um, has great herbs like juniper berry, especially to help open up the kidneys and allow them to filter the waste from our lymph. And again, this is the sediment that we should be seeing in our urine. And last but not least for our Fab Four, we have 
um, what Dr. Morse used to call stomach and bowels, but he now calls GI Renew. And this formula is really based on how well your bowels are already moving, whether or not you need a little bit more movement. If you are looking for some more cleaning and toning of tissues, there are different herbs that work on the GI tissues differently, depending on what your goal is. So we have our Fab Four up front, and if you are on a tight budget, there are a couple options for you. Um, Dr. Morse does offer his Fab Four kit, and this will help your body to open up your main um, pathways of elimination. Everything else that you add on top of the Fab, uh, Fab Four is just a bonus, right? That's just extra little bits on top um, of you supporting extra systems in your body. But if this is all you can do right now or eventually, totally fine. And if even this is too much for you, grab yourself a bag of loose leaf herbal tea or even if you can, next time you have a little bit of extra income, invest in some bulk herbs yourself and start to build your own herbal medicine cabinet that way. It doesn't take very much in order to build your cabinet and to have that sense of accomplishment and uh, empowerment. So moving on, um, I haven't actually, um, I didn't show this in my video previously, but I do also take Dr. Morse's Superfood Blend, and these are just capsules. Um, the suggested dose is three capsules two to three times a day, but to be honest, friends, um, to try and stretch it out a little bit, I only take two capsules once a day, and even with that little bit, I'm going to put these bad boys down, <laughs> show you some love. Um, even with that little dose, I have noticed that my fingernails have become stronger. They're able to grow to a greater length. They're not brittle and weak like they used to be. I mean, some of them are still, but it's amazing to see just from these little bit of herbs what our bodies can do in regenerating healthier, stronger new tissue. So moving on, we have the liver and gallbladder capsules. Generally, this is also in a tincture form, but I don't have the tincture. Capsules also work just as well if you don't have a major absorption issue. Now, it's kind of beneficial to throw in a couple capsules if you're looking at this much um, of an alcohol-based tincture if you have a very weakened liver. Um, but really, ideally, once I um, dish all of these out, we're looking at maybe a half of a shot glass full for all of these tinctures. Um, so again, if you have a very weak liver, there are glycerin-based uh, extracts and there are also capsules and loose leaf herbal tea. So there's a lot of options available to you. Um, but liver and gallbladder to really help allow the liver and gallbladder to clear out stones. Now these are not hard stones, they are cholesterol based stones and for anyone that has gone through the liver and gallbladder flush, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Those like little green, sometimes they're not little, green floating stones that you'll see after the flush and these are indeed bile based cholesterol stones. Um, really important to get those bad boys out so our livers can properly produce and trickle the bile down to the gallbladder that stores the gallbladder which then squeezes out the bile whenever we eat something with fat to help us digest and emulsify that fat. So really important to make sure that the liver and gallbladder are free from stones and obstruction to make sure that they can help us with digestion and also the liver with like its 500 different chemical functions functions and helping to clean the blood as well. Really important. Moving on, we have a bone and connective tissue support. Now going back to my weakened fingernails, friends, there's all kinds of symptoms that I've had over the years that point to a very weak uh, connective tissue, which is absolutely related to our parathyroid glands. So while we regenerate those tissues, it can be of benefit, especially when we're stripping our bodies and cleaning out on this level to support our connective tissue because we don't want to be injured very weakly. We don't want our connective tissue getting even weaker, which can happen, which is why support can be so beneficial. Next up is an adrenal gland tonic. 
Uh, I also suffer from some weakened adrenals. Um, that is definitely um, noticeable and seen from previous asthma, still occasional asthma flare-ups, um, feelings of shyness, of being timid, um, really crazy emotions, um, unstable emotions, right? So the adrenal gland tonic will help to strengthen the adrenal glands, help encourage them to function on their own, which is also a really great benefit of herbs is that they're not addictive like supplements and your body does not become reliant on the herbs. The herbs are simply here to help encourage natural cell and tissue function. So it's just a nice little wake me up and a little perk to your cells. And every herb acts on specific tissues or specific cells. Some herbs work on a variety of tissues. Just do a little bit of research and see what cells, I mean, what, what herbs do what, and you'll be amazed at um, just how helpful herbs are. Next up, we have a pituitary blend, um, pituitary. Friends, I am short. I don't know if you can tell by my videos, but I come in at uh, a whopping five foot and three eighths of an inch. <laughs> I'm keeping the three-eighths of an inch. It's important. Uh, so when we see such a short stature, we immediately know there is pituitary involvement. And because the pituitary is our master endocrine gland, it controls all of the other endocrine glands. So when the pituitary is down, you bet your bottom that your thyroid, your parathyroid, your thymus, your spleen, your adrenals, all of these other endocrine glands are also struggling. Wow, I just had to cut out the biggest yawn ever, but I figured I would save you from that. Um, second to last, we have a parasite blend, um, anti-parasite herbs are so very important. Friends, if you have walked outside barefoot, if you have eaten meat at any time, especially if you have eaten raw meat or sushi, if you have traveled to a different country, if you have potentially drank dirty water, um, there is a very high likely that you have a parasitic involvement and it's really important to deworm yourself. Friends, I, I tell you that um, I was strictly plant-based for four whole years before I passed my first parasite. And it was about a foot, maybe 13 inches long. And um, I hadn't touched a piece of meat in over four years, but here I was passing a parasite, which goes to show you that there is a very real importance in deworming ourselves. About 95 plus percent of the population struggles with parasites. And that's because really parasites are here to clean up garbage. They are here to clean up waste. And if we are congested lymphatically, we have a lot of internal waste that needs to be cleaned up. And so a parasite will smell that. They're going to sense that and say, mm hmm I got me some food and they're going to set up shop, right? So deworm yourself. You can also look into papaya seeds um, because parasites hate papaya seeds. You can throw a couple of those bad boys in a smoothie and never even know it. Last but not least, brain and nerve, um, which is also considered upper circulation. Uh, I've been dealing with some brain fog. There's been some really poor word recall. And so I really want to drive blood circulation up to the brain and turn this on. I want to turn on the whole system, um, which is exactly what this herbal protocol is doing. So as I'm digging in really deeply with the grapes, I know that it's only a matter of time before my body really starts to dip down that I'm starting to feel the hurt. There are other herbal helpers here that I have at hand, um, at home, but until I need them, they're gonna stay in the medicine cabinet. When I need them, I'll bust them out and we can talk about them. But I wanted to give you guys a, a rundown on my herbal protocol. Let me know what questions you have, including, how to make your own tinctures. We can certainly cover that in another video coming up. 
So with that said, I hope you guys are rocking it on your monkey diet challenge. Let me know in the comments down below what you're eating. What are you doing? Is it fruit? Is it veg? Is it smoothies? Are you making some salads? Are you juicing your own fruits and vegetables? I want to know what's working for you. What really calls and resonates with you right now? Let me know. Share your journey with others so they can continue to grow on theirs. With that said, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.